you know, we always hear about these stories about our grandparents and how hardworking they were. You know, when you, you look at somebody from the World War II generation, a lot of them, you know, they woke up every day, they did jobs that, for lack of a better word, sucked, and they didn't complain much. They came home, they went to their houses, they enjoyed their families and ate dinner. Now, that's the story we all get told. I mean, from what I remember of my grandparents, um, who were from the World War II generation, you know, they were kind of hard edge. I don't think my mom had a very good childhood. Um, you know, and that's not to, to speak badly about my, my grandparents, but they just didn't seem like very happy people. Um, and I guess we always get that thrown in our faces um, as members of the younger generation, where, you know, we talk about the World War II generation as the greatest generation. And I do, I think that they were absolutely amazing and what they accomplished and what they brought to this country and um, how they pushed this country forward. Not to mention defeating Nazism and fascism. Um, but when we look at ourselves, right? And, and because when we talk about that kind of lost generation there, we're almost talking about it like, we're not capable of doing anything great. Um, and I believe we are. I believe that we are completely capable of doing some amazing things. But what is wrong? Why aren't we doing it? Well, I think we are. I think that you know, you're seeing some amazing things with technology. You're seeing some amazing things as far as ideas coming out. I think we're focusing on the wrong things. I think we're focusing too much on the negative. We're focusing too much on the lazy aspects of humanity. And because we're focusing on that, we're also finding that. We're finding that a lot of us in the veteran community, we're getting infected by it. You know, um, we see that people out there aren't working very hard and we're focusing on that particular group of people. And because we're focusing on that group, particular group of people, we don't know what else to do with ourselves. You know, the fact is that there's some really freaking hardworking civilians out there who never served in a, a day in their lives. You know, they, they never served uh, in the military at all. And, you know, we tend to overlook that. We tend to overlook the fact that there's people out there who have taken themselves from nothing to building some amazing lives and amazing um, businesses and who have touched thousands of people around the world. So I guess what I'm saying is this, um, if you want to find the negative in life, you're going to find it because that's what you're going to focus on. If you want to find and learn um, amazing things, you have to find amazing people and learn from them. And you got to keep an open mind for that. That means, you know, picking up a book. That means um, reading things that you wouldn't have already read before. Um, you know, that means studying people, studying successful people. Not just, you know, um, operators and, and war heroes, though I think it's important to understand combat and understand how people have fought wars because that speaks a lot about life in and of itself. But I mean, in addition to that, you know, um, picking up a book about, Steve Jobs or, you know, Sam Walton or, um, you know, picking up a book about, uh, you know, Bob Iger from Disney or, or Jeff Bezos from Amazon.com and kind of looking at what they went through. Because if we don't do that, what happens to us is in our minds, we say, oh, look at those civilians. You know, they've had such an easy life. And I think it's a mistake to do that. Because there is nobody who's successful in this world who just woke up successful. You've got to study the journey that they, they took. Um, and you have to understand that you are on a journey as well. You might not find success tomorrow. You, not, you might not find success next week. And you might, be, you might get knocked down a few more times, right? Um, because I think the other thing is we think that we're going to get out of the military and we're just going to chill. We're going to hang back we're gonna not do anything and that might sound awesome right and and some you know some of you deserve it 
You know, some of you deserve to kind of chill and take, take a chill break. But at the same time, when you do that, what happens is you lose a part of yourself. You lose that part of yourself that was willing to go out and wait in a tree to kill a deer for dinner, right? You lose that part of yourself that used to fight, that used to be hungry, that used to be hungry to live for a purpose. And when you lose that part of yourself, you start to lose your love for life. And so if you're looking for something right now, um, my suggestion is to start reading about other people. Other people who went through maybe not the same journey you're going through right now in transition, but maybe in other types of transitions from being relatively unknown people who had an idea to taking that idea and running with it and creating something, right? Learn how to be creators. Learn how to be, um, learn how to be what you want to be, right? And because I think what everybody wants is some sort of purpose. What everybody wants is some reason to get out of bed in the morning. And if you can't find that, then you've got to be curious and you've got to be willing to learn. Um, if you're not finding it, it means you haven't added fuel to your mind um, in order to find it. And that comes from books, that comes from learning, that comes from hearing other people's stories. The same way you probably wanted to go in the military in the first place because you saw a movie or read a book or heard a story about a great man that might have been your relative, might have been somebody else you knew who served and did some amazing things. And so you went out there and did some amazing things yourself in the military and now it's time to start that process over again and learn about other people who are doing amazing things in the civilian world and who are creating and building and adding value to society. And all of you can do it. You're, you're all so awesome. Um, and I've seen what this community can do and I know how many amazing people are in this community. And that's why I do these videos because I believe in each and every one of you and I want you all to find success. I'll talk to you all soon. I love you all. Peace.